Of all the phenomena that created our world, arguably, mobility is the greatest change maker. Human mobility changed humanity, and it is changing our planet. Today, let us take the first steps towards transforming mobility. Our world is increasingly urban and increasingly connected. This offers us a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to plan, develop and manage mobility solutions in an ecologically and economically sustainable manner. This is as much an opportunity as an imperative because if we don't, if we continue to follow the current trajectory, an ecological resource base as large as four of our blue planets will be required. And alas, we have only one Earth. We need a paradigm shift. We need answers to a fundamental question. How can we effectively harness the opportunity provided by seamless mobility for economic growth and poverty reduction while mitigating its negative effects? Some answers may be emerging where they are needed the most. India, a country whose urban population will double in the next decade, more than half a billion of whose citizens will live, work and travel in her cities. There are opportunities here, there are challenges here, and to turn challenges into opportunities, an adequate and holistic infrastructure focus is underway. Rural roads are being built through the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. Urban roads, national highways and expressways through the Bharat Mala program. Waterways are being developed through the Pradhan Mantri Jal Marg Yojana. Port connectivity is being enhanced via rail, roadways and multimodal logistical parks all through the Sagar Mala program. The common citizen is taking to the air like never before through the Ure Desh Ka Aam Nagrik, the Uran program. India is moving to sunshine and wind to drive the biggest renewable program in the world. A target of 175 gigawatts by 2022, which it aims to surpass. The country has taken the lead in creating the International Solar Alliance of more than 121 countries for the efficient exploitation of solar energy and reducing the dependence on fossil fuels. To ensure future readiness, a series of fundamental steps are being taken. The One Nation One Guard program will be optimizing travel footprint and promoting seamless integration with public transportation. An increased emphasis is being laid on the safety of women and accessibility for the elderly and disabled. Land use integration is being done through master planning and the development of a hundred smart cities. Data-driven measures are being adopted and intelligent traffic management systems being put in place. A major impetus is being given to electric vehicles, clean technology and battery manufacture. India has also catalyzed the evolution and growth of pooling, sharing and connected mobility through digital means. A recent study by Morgan Stanley shows that a confluence of trends are transforming India into the fastest growing auto 2.0 market over the next decade. It estimates that almost 50% of the incremental new vehicle sales during 2017-2030 will come from India. A lot of these miles will be electric, shared and connected. India is therefore taking the ambitious challenge of manufacturing clean vehicles and batteries and accelerating the pace of innovation and research and development. As the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi has said, there is need to bring about a paradigm shift in urban planning by adopting a people-centric approach and integrating land use and transport. Bringing the world story to India, taking India's story to the world, accelerating global growth, skills and employment and speeding the world's transition to a clean energy future is the objective of this summit. We will move.